Eunice, you did your thing with this one. My name is Taja. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of my videos. Today, I have a hair tutorial and a hair review about this bomb Peruvian straight hair that I am wearing from a company called Eunice Hair. So, basically, I'm going to give you a rundown of everything that I think about this hair, and also, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a wig and I really mean it if you know me then you know that I love me some straight hair so this hair definitely makes me feel like you know we're back to ourselves to be truthfully honest this is really like the very first time that I successfully made a wig I used the glue gun method and for the closure I sewed the closure so to make this wig it can take you probably between 30 minutes to an hour I received four 24 inch bundles and I also received a 20 inch free part closure. So let's just see how much it ranges off on the website. They currently have a back to school sale going on um, where you can get $4 off of 99, $10 off of 199 and $16 off of 299 at the moment. So after choosing all of that, it ranges for about $322. That the price is reasonable for the length of hair that I have now mind you I usually do like maybe 18 20 inches which if I choose an 18 inch for the both the closure and the hair it ranges about 200 something I like the color of it I, I didn't feel like I had to dye it jet black because I felt like it was fairly black so I really like that the hair is super soft so when I made the wig, it fit about two and a half um, bundles because I didn't want to just overpack the wig and make it look bulky or too big. I do like my hair to look as natural as possible. The hair is super soft and it does not tangle. But when you come towards the end, I do wish that my ends were a little thicker. I don't know, I just really like thicker ends it just makes the hair just have more body and volume so that's one con that I can think of with this hair so far it's just a like it's not even it's not even a big deal at this point I just wish that the ends were a little thicker but the hair itself is just amazing I think that units have a great range of straight hair so lightweight and it's really long and you can see towards the ends like it's not as equal Okay guys, so let's get into this small tutorial. So as you can see, I have my dome wig cap ready. I have a pair of scissors, some T-pins, glue gun, and my glue sticks. Um, also on my mannequin, you want to make sure that you put on some tape on there if you're going to use the glue method because you don't want your hair to stick on that. So I'm going to just go ahead and put on the wig cap to get started. And of course, you're going to need a needle and thread. And I like to get a generous amount of that because you just don't want to do too much of the back and forth. And I would just make sure that you're using a curved needle. It'll just make your job easier. The only thing that we're sewing on here is the closure, honey. Okay? I told you this was going to be really easy and straight to the point. And I have my hair ready. So this is my closure that I did not bleach, um, but if you want to bleach it, then by no means, I think that'll make your job easier. Um, and I also have my T-pins. I'm just going to use that as a guidance and also to help stretch out the closure for a better just application. So I like to start sewing onto the closure in the middle part of the back going on to one side then I would go back to the middle and finish up with the other side. 
This is a method that I saw online and that's what works best for me, but whatever makes it easier for you, I would just recommend that. And sewing onto the closure was the most time consuming part of the whole process for me personally, just because I don't sew a lot of things. I don't sew at all. Um, so that was just it. But after that, once you get to gluing on to the wig, that's the easy part. Okay, now that I'm done with the most annoying part for me, <laughs> it's time to um, just get the first bundle out. What I like to do is measure the hair first and see exactly how I want to put it. Um, please excuse my natural hair in a way, <laughs> my little fro. And then I glue on to, you know, the actual wig cap and I just place the hair on there. So really basically that's all the process is for me. I measure the hair out. I glue it onto the wig cap and then I go around and just press the weft onto that glue and you keep going like that. And as you can see, I use the clear glue sticks, but they do have black glue sticks available out there if you just want to make sure that it's a neat application and it's not going to dry and kind of look white. But I haven't had any issues with that. This glue is also long lasting. I have another wig made out of this glue and I haven't had any issues with it getting it wet or anything like that. So right now what you're seeing me do is just cut my wefts into basically horizontal um, just pieces because as you can see there's that U in the middle. So you're just going to cut it and measure it out accordingly to what's left. So that's what I'm doing. We are really close to the ends honey. That easy. Okay, so we are done gluing on everything, but we are not 100% done because there's that black cap under the closure and that's a no-no because it looks black like there's no part. We can't be looking crazy. So what you're going to do now is basically grab a pair of scissors and you're going to cut that black piece right under that closure and do like a little U with it. You don't want to cut too much, so you want to be careful not to be too close to where you sewed it for the closure on. And as you can see now, you can actually see the part. So that's the big difference. This is like a major key. And so now I'm just flat ironing the hair, you know, putting on final touches to it. This hair, the luster on it is amazing. It is so silky. And I just love that about it. Um, I just added a little bit of shine to touch it up. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> 